hello everyone thank you for coming up today my old subscribers thank you and to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing please do not forget to hit on the like button friends actress choma has gone bow to mourn and friends is going to shock you to know why she is actually mourning she didn't lose anybody neither is she acting a movie and this particular nollywood actress who is choma has bounced back to social media you know she's been away from social media for a while but she's making a confession that it's going to shock a lot of people right now she is saying that she had on two occasions slept with apostle suleiman johnson for money wow isn't this coming as a very big shock because she's not an actress that a lot of people know that much it's just that she is a social media person and of late she's been calm regarding coming out on social media but to come out right now and give this, it's sounding like a very big bombshell. However, a few weeks ago, Choma, in an open confession on Instagram, narrated how she allegedly slept with the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministry, that's Apostle Johnson Suleiman, for money. Choma alleged that she was pimped to Suleiman by her colleague, Linda and was paid a handsome huge amount by the apostle however the money has continued to torment her and that is why she now had to confess feeling that the money she got was not the right way to get the money and she felt it's what is causing whatever is happening in her life in a reaction to this viral allegation apostle Suleiman implored his congregation and followers not to send him any encouraging messages again because you know when things like this happen when congregations who hear about their leader and all that is flying on social media definitely some people would always want to make the leader feel like we still are in support of you and we've got your back no matter what anybody's saying we still believe in you and we know that these are not things that you are capable of doing but apostle Suleiman did not see it as anything comforting he didn't see it as something that he should accept wholeheartedly for him he's not interested the clergyman added that he is focused on his god-given assignment and the people who are insulting him only did that because of what they read online and after a few days off instagram choma returned again she went bow that was when she now came out showing a lot of people that she has scraped her hair completely and sent out warming messages to critics to stay off her page or bear the consequences because a lot of people had lashed back at her people had said a whole lot of things to her she even shared her new look on instagram and wrote this on her instagram page these were her exact words a new wave of glory all glory to almighty god my creator the holy one of israel the impossible specialist for his grace and mercy and to everyone who's been supportive through this very tough and challenging dimension. May God bless you. To everyone who took out time to share their opinions and thoughts, I take all in good faith. No human is perfect, and none is totally righteous. For the righteousness of man is like a filthy rag before God. We must strive to get rid of sin in our daily lives we must endeavor to obey god's commands and lay down instructions according to bible standard 
As leaders, we must lead by example and practice what we preach. We must turn away from any form of iniquity and walk in holiness because the Bible says in Hebrews 12, 14, make efforts to live in peace with everyone and to be holy without holiness, no man shall see God. And for those saying they are scared for my safety, don't be. At this point, my relationship with God is all that matters to me. I can give up everything to walk right with Christ. The Bible says in Matthew 10, 28, And fear not them that kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him that is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. If you comment inappropriately, I will have to restrict you indefinitely. Thanks. These are the words that Chioma had to go and pen down on her Instagram page following what she had made as a confession. You all know that definitely things like this would go viral and even the apostle had seen this confession, but he didn't comment directly to what Chioma had confessed to. For Chioma is like a turnaround for her. She's turning a new leaf in her life and she wants to drop all the old parts of her life. And the major thing that she was struggling with that made her to come out was the fact that the money she had collected from Apostle Paul, according to what she had claimed, that that money was affecting her negatively, which means that the money she got it in a very wrong way as a result of the fact that she had slept with Apostle Suleiman for money she made it categorically clear and she didn't hide it she didn't even want to make it seem like she is being lured into doing this and that is why she said she has to go back to let the whole world know that this is not a thing of joke neither is it that she is trying to paint anybody black or trying to tarnish anyone's image she is even doing this for her own personal growth that she wants to grow positively in God's sight and she wants to drop all the bad aspects of her life. And the one that was actually tormenting her more was the fact that this money she got from Apostle Suleiman was as a result of the fact that she had to do something that was not right in the sight of God. So right now, Apostle Suleiman now had to tell his congregation irrespective of what they are reading online he did not specify neither did he kick against what Chioma had come out to say that she had slept with him and this is a confession and we know that unlike apostle Suleiman, he would definitely come out to debunk things that he feels are out just to tarnish his image he would come out to defend himself and to state his own stance on what has been laid out there concerning him. But for Choma's confession, he didn't come out to be specific like what Choma is saying is wrong or what Choma is saying is just one of those mere allegations to tarnish his image. No, he didn't do that. He just went directly to generalize statements and saying to his congregation, no one should sympathize with him. No one should encourage him, sending him messages as to tell him that they are supporting him no matter what. He just said it clear that he is focused on his work for God and he is not bothered about what anybody is saying online. Friends, with regards to the response from Apostle Suleiman Johnson, do you think that this is another way for him to boycott something that he really did? Or do you think he feels this is another way to destroy him as a man of God? This is another way for people to pull him down and so he is not bothered about it because nothing like that ever happened. He just wants to move past that and focus on what he is called to do. Is this another strategy or do you think this did not really happen? But the question is, will Chioma come out, go bald and then present all of this openly on social media? If this did not happen, 
The third question would be what is Choma up to? Is this another way for her to make herself popular? Is this another way for her to gain more views? Or is this something that really happened and she wants the whole world to know that it's not what everybody see out there and think that everyone is perfect? Because she made a statement here and from the Bible directly stating that we cannot just be perfect and there is no one without any form of sin or fault in him or her. And for her to come out openly to say something like this about a man of God, if it's wrong or if she's lying against him, I'm sure she already knows consequences of things when you lie against people like that. And on the other hand, is it like she is just trying to be famous or did all of this really happen? You know why no one is really out to stand and say, okay, this happened or this did not happen. When you've not heard from both parties, it's really difficult to draw conclusions, especially with sensitive issues like this. From all indication, Apostle Suleiman is not ready to talk about this. He's not ready to be specific. He just made a general statement. Who is saying the truth and who is out to tarnish anybody's image? That is another question that we need to ask right now. And what does Choma stand to gain if she is lying against Apostle Suleiman Johnson? If he actually did this and he is not talking about it, is it another way for him to just cover up the truth? Because we all know that Apostle Suleiman, anything said against him, he will definitely come out online to point on that thing and say his own part and to let people know how innocent he is of any of the accusations online. This is just unlike him. He didn't specify what actress Choma had said. He didn't talk about it. He didn't say, I didn't do it. He didn't say none of this happened. Neither did he say this is one of the ways they are trying to pull him down or tarnish his image. Well, at this point, you can't draw any form of conclusion as to saying if this really happened or not. We'll just keep watching and seeing if Apostle Suleiman will come out to debunk this or will come out to defend himself and to say all of these are just mere allegations against him to tarnish or destroy his image. But the general question will be, if all of this never happened, then why would people take pleasures to come out to tarnish anybody's image or to say things that are not true, knowing that social media is another open marketplace where a lot of people come in and out to do different things, to read on updates and to know what's really happening. What do people stand to gain doing that? And secondly, when people come out in the open to make confessions like this, are they trying to let people know that it's not all that you see out there that is real? Because sometimes some people will come out to make open confessions regarding things that have happened to them, especially when it has to do with prominent people in the society that have presented themselves in a different way meanwhile that is not what is really happening different things why people go out there to say things that have really happened to them and something like this is not something that you should be proud of if this really happened it's not something that you should come out in the open and maybe let people know or be proud of well like she said it's a confession she is trying to change her ways and to repent out from what she had done fine another thing is if this is what really transpired friends you think that coming out on social media to making an open confession like this was that really necessary if this has to do with her personal life and it really transpired between her and apostle suleiman johnson should this be the right approach to it or is she trying to let people know that these are things happening behind the scene that a lot of people are not aware of maybe she is trying to let people know so that they can be careful or cautious well at this point we still can conclude 
as to why she came out in the open, in the public, to make a confession such as this. Making confessions, are they not meant to be private things between you and God? Should it be said in an open place like this, especially when it has to do with something that is very, very sensitive? Friends, what can you conclude regarding this? Do you think that this really transpired? She is an actress and she knows that all of this would also reflect back on her and her ability to come out there in the open to act and to do all the things that she is fond of doing. Is this the best way to make an open confession? Confession, should they be made out there in the public? In a confession like this, is it something that is trying to teach people a lesson? Is it something that is trying to make people understand that certain things are happening that people don't really know? Or is she trying to tell people that this is not who Apostle Suleiman is? Is not what people think he is. Different things. Is she deliberately trying to tarnish image? There are a whole lot of questions that are being asked out there as to why and did this really happen? Well, friends, if there is an update regarding this, you will definitely be updated. We'll watch and see if Apostle Suleiman will come to talk about this directly and to say if any of this really happened between him and the actress Shoma. Friends, please, what do you all think regarding this confession now that has been made open in public? Please, whatever you think about this, you could put that down at the comment section. Like I said, we can't draw any conclusions yet until we hear from Apostle Suleiman Johnson. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.